Hi, I just got a new Beauty Heroes Beauty Box for February that includes some Fit Glow Beauty um, creams. So I wanted to talk about those and other Fit Glow products that I've tried over the past year or so. The first actually is their Vita Active Foundation. I wear VF2. I'm wearing it right now actually. It is organic and I believe it's also cruelty free, which is great. It's also gluten free. Overall, this is a pretty good foundation. I don't think it covers up my melasma and dark spots extremely well, but it still does a, a pretty good job for being natural and organic. Um, you can see here and here, I'm not wearing any concealer on top of it, so I hope this gives you a good idea of the coverage. It's a nice kind of whipped, moussey texture, and it dries nice and matte. I've been wearing it for a few hours now, um, but it is something that you could layer in and build up a bit more coverage um, if that's something that looking into. I also got their Eye Bright, Eye Brightener, and eyeshadow base. I bought it on a whim, but it works pretty good. I've got it on this eye and right here, so you can see the differences here. I've been using it um, for about a year now, and it's okay. I don't know if it's quite worth the price um, to buy, but if you are looking for a yellow base concealer that's natural, and you're looking for a nice eyelid primer, you might want to look into it. Um, this is their Mineral Cheek Color um, in Cheeky, and I really like this a lot. They actually don't carry this color anymore, but they have a lot of great colors right now. It's long-lasting. I'm wearing it now, and I applied it a few hours ago. I highly recommend it. At about $32, hour, $32 that's a pretty good price point. Their Good Lash Vegan Mascara is new, and it's got a very big applicator. Um, a very thick cone. I would actually prefer if this were a bit longer since this is so thick it is easy to um, apply a little mascara accidentally on your eyelid. So today I'm wearing it on this side so you can see the difference between wearing the mascara and not wearing the mascara. I love that it's non-irritating. Um, my eyes don't itch at all when wearing it which is amazing and it does smudge just a little bit towards the end of the day but it's fairly high impact an organic mascara. It's a bit pricey at over $40, which is higher than my Yves Saint Laurent baby doll mascara that I used to wear before I switched to natural products, um, but it still might be worth it if you're really looking for a more high impact natural mascara. Another newer product is their lip color serum. This is in Nude, and this is a really nice color. I'm wearing it right now, actually. It has a little bit of a vanilla aroma, which I would really prefer it didn't, it has a lovely texture, it's fairly long lasting, and it's similar to Butter London Lippies. I really like those as well. Um, this is organic, I believe this one is also vegan, and it's cruelty free. If you're concerned about your lips texture and you're really looking for more of a serum lipstick, this is a good buy. And finally we'll get to the items from the February Beauty Heroes box. Also, please note, I've got a full detailed review of all of these products. Just look at the link at the bottom of the video in the comments section. So, let's see. This first, the Cloud Comfort Cream. It has a really nice texture. It's um, pillowy, as they described it, and very soft, and it absorbs very well into the skin. It has a very sweet scent, almost like a honeysuckle. And while Ficlo doesn't add scents to their products, just in the ingredients, something is, is making it a little too fragrant for me, so I'm going to hesitate to use it. But it does include um, some chia extract, which I love. I love chia-based products. I've also got a link um, in my blog to other chia-based products that I love. You might like this if you have sensitive skin, but ultimately, if you're sensitive to fragrances at all, this is going to be a big turn off. And finally, the Redness Rescue Cream. I think I would like this if I did have rosacea or a red skin issue, um, but I, I don't. It does include um, kind of a green pigment in it, which helps to counteract the red. Um, it also has a bit of an interesting scent to it just from the ingredients, so I think um, for that reason I probably wouldn't, wouldn't use it. Um, these are very pricey as well. If you do deal with rosacea, I'm very sorry, I've never dealt with that, you might like these, but if you don't, I don't think they're quite uh, worth it. And if you go to my blog, I'll recommend a few other products that you might like better.